All right. I got I have got to apologize for the production quality. I had planned out this cute little presentation that would rely on the fact that I was using a microphone and not an embedded microphone. So when I was going to say Arpabet is ugly and inelegant, I was going to go off to the side and go boo. But if I'm using my lap tops embedded microphone it just sounds like normal it just sounds like I'm booing myself that's not funny anyway if you don't want to sit through this entire presentation the converter for Arpabet to Vocaloid Phonetics is in the description anyway let's get the presentation started and I'll just take out that joke that I wanted to put in what is Arpabet? Arpabet is old. It was created in the 1970s. It was created by the agency now known as DARPA. Sadly, it was not conceived of on a magical island. It only uses letters. No Unicode, no Axie, just letters. The version Arpa Singh uses is not case sensitive. This means that it was even easier for people using old-timey computers to understand. Side note, um, the converter and Utau are both case sensitive. If you're not using all lowercase with um, an Arpasing bank, it literally won't work. Lowercase only. Now, well, do, well, why do I dislike it? It's not pretty. While it was very well suited for what people needed in the 70s, it's a little less suited for it now. Also, I have dyslexia. This system of phonemes is not good for my dyslexia. What do you think AO and AW sound like? I literally don't know without looking it up. I literally just looked that up to type it and I can't really remember. <laughs> However, I do instantly know what ow and all sound like. I put a little note about mispronouncing the alphabet, but I'm not even bothering. <laughs> See, production values. Why is alphabet used? Alphabet was basically the king in old speech synthesis programs. It was all super official and stuff. And I think the reason it's still used is just because that's the kind of pe thing that people do when they're really into the new, you know. Because the most prolific modern usage I know of is the CMU Pronouncing Dictionary, which of course is open source. Now, why does Arpa Sing use it? I literally don't know. I think it has to do with a specific culture that values open source resources, or maybe because more sampler was a university project. I don't know. Maybe the just maybe the name just sounded too cool. <sighs> what is arpasing? Which I keep miswriting is arparsing. So don't don't fault me if I accidentally say it that way. Arpasing was created by Kanru Hua. I'm gonna I'm sorry, I can't say it right. <laughs> Arpasing and more sampler are inseparable. Creating an arpasing bank without more sampler is basically impossible. For a hobbyist, arpasing is the best method possible for English Utao creation usage. For an enthusiast, bleh. Why is arpasing so great? For a hobbyist, there are three main things that make arpasing great. Recording lists are made out of words, not phonemes. Automatically, gen ge automatically generated autos. Usage Assistant makes UST creation slash tuning almost automatic. What happened to- oh yeah. Why are those things bad? The first problem is recording lists made with words. To be 100% correct with English, you will often need to double check the phonemes. If you can read phonemes enough to check the lyrics, why not just use a phoneme list? It is completely possible to record a phoneme only R parsing list, 
but that's not really advertised as one of the draws of using our parsing. Yes. Wordless are great for speech synthesis where the nuances of speech need to be recorded. In singing synthesis, you will generally get the best results if there's no extra kind of inflection. Also, a complete lack of discernible pattern. I need patterns. However, these are only issues for people who really care a lot. Now, what's wrong with auto autos? Sorry. No matter how poorly or off time you record, more sampler will cover you. However, if you sing on time, basically any list with a time based auto will also cover you. Automated auto files are wonky. Them being auto generated also means that they aren't uniform, making them more of a headache to fix. The index file system makes it harder to track down offending samples. But not everyone is obsessed with perfect autos. Like, I mean, it, yeah. If it works, it works. What's wrong with plugins? If you don't want to learn ARPABET, tuning, or anything like that, ARPASYNC is perfect. And I am not talking down to you if you don't want to mess with that. Like, I literally learned enough of a programming language to make a plugin so that I never had to learn ARPABET in school. The ARPASYNC assistant will take full English words and fit them into a USD with one click, but Plugins make errors that may take longer to fix than just manually typing it in to begin with. If you're obsessed with perfection, using plugins just feels like an extra step that will make things harder in the end. So now, why did I make this slideshow? I wouldn't make an R-parsing bank for myself, even if I was still making UTOs. I have no interest in using plugins or learning R for that. However, there may be a day that I fall in love with a new though that only has an R parsing English bank. I created a program exactly for this situation. Arpabet to Vocaloid Phonem Alias Converter. I spent one night teaching myself just enough C sharp to make a Windows form application that easily converts R parsing aliases to Vocaloid phonetics. This means that you can use an R-parsing bank without having to learn a single ARPABET phoneme. You will be unable to use plugins like the ARPABET, ARP I want to say R-parsing, R-parsing. You will be unable to use the plugins like the R-parsing, R-parsing, <laughs> um, assistant, but I just like using plugins as a rule, so no big deal. How to use it. To use it, you just need the auto file, set param, and the program itself. And that's it. I will get to the demo portion of this video right away. Boop. All right. Hello, screen recorder. <laughs> My computer is not happy with me. All right. Now, all you have to do is go to the alias column and then control C to copy and then you just need to go here to paste and you what I got it to use huh saying I couldn't get to use a control V got it to use control V I'm not recompiling it <laughs> all right now you just paste that in here and then you click convert and you get this oh now it won't let me now just select select all copy and then you go here control V and now you have your bank with the with the Vocaloid phonetics and for proof that it works this is a different bank to streamline the whole demonstration you can see that this is, in fact, Vocaloid Phonetics. I knew you loved me. And that's basically it. Um, download in the description. Um, this was a mess. I apologize for that. I'm going to watch it 
there's a chance I'll redo it, but if you see this, it wasn't redone. You know, it's not like I'm a big YouTuber. If I put this up and decide a few days later, wow, I did a bad job, I can, I'll redo it. I'll redo it. Maybe someday I'll do this for Delta and the CZ lists. Well, it's good. Everything's okay.